Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to do another Python video, and this one's going to be on list and showing some functionality and stuff. Now, there's been a massive gap between this particular video and my last video due to school and stuff, so sorry about that, but uh, I might cover some topics that uh, I thought I've covered in the past, but um, it might be a little bit more advanced. So, if that does happen, then let me know, and I'll try to fix it as quickly as possible. So, jumping on in is, um, I have a Dropbox link just to make this easier. I already put all the code out and whatever. But basically, the Dropbox link down below, focus on this one file. Uh, but other than that, so I got a GitHub link, and either one that you want to go with is fine. But as far as this goes, if you follow my past videos, this should work for you. If it doesn't, or if I just didn't cover it, then let me know. Obviously, do 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of research before you contact me, because if you can't do that, then you're probably not going to be a worthwhile coder to start with, and you're probably going to have a hard time in jobs. So, jumping on here, you want to go to Edit. And uh, as far as this goes, uh, if you want to change the background stuff like I did, go to the options and highlight and in here you got a background foreground whatever if you go to built in and colors you can actually do dark and then customize it and it helps out quite a bit so with here I, i'll also open up this particular file because this is um, it's already coded and everything so we uh you know have that up and running and showing you a live demonstration so as far as this goes um what is this? This is basically a program that will make a list for you. It's just to show you the basic understandings of a list. And I'll talk a little bit about um, what is a list. I've gotten several videos in the past in other languages on this. I think I also got into this particular language. But we also have functionality, comments, and a few other things. So going uh, down here. The uh, first line, any line that has the uh, number sign, it is the uh, is comment. So note that, and uh, that's just for the developer or whoever is looking at to learn, and hopefully that helps you out. But first off, we're going to need to make a list because that's really what the entire program is about. Now, one thing I want to mention before we go any further is less understanding that uh, basics of what is a list it, it's pretty important because you're going to be using that quite a bit um either in java python whatever and and uh, doing web development to something else you're going to be using the list quite a bit so just note that so as far as here uh we have functions so uh i, I pretty sure I got in previous videos on functions what is a function but we have a show help function and this function it purely prints off the following words so as you see here when you uh, first start up we have the call to that function right there now from here basically what we're doing here is uh, we're printing off any text that we want if we got the uh, three quotations we, we don't have to put a quotation out after each thing and it makes it a lot easier just note that if um, say for example if you got spaces here uh, it will show up I don't really feel like messing with that but just note that anything that is shown here will show there so spelling and all that stuff you got to make sure it's uh, fairly common that you need to just copy and paste anything that's going to show up on um, screen that a user will see in a uh, word pad or something like that and have it do a little bit of spell check to make sure that you've done that. Uh, and if you want to do grammar, then that too. But spelling is, in my opinion, a little bit more important. Now, as far as that goes, if we go down a little bit more, we got another function, and basically this is the show list we got a print and then we uh, print off each item in the list now as far as a list trying to pull the right tool let's use this as a quick symbol basically if we have a uh, list of items for those who don't know we might have say uh, one two three abc whatever 
but it'll be count as item zero, one, two, three, and go, goes down that list. But basically, you have um, each, uh, like, like, say for example, if we put like apples, bananas, milk, whatever, yada, yada, it, it will be assigned a number. And basically, what would end happening is it will um, pull the items from, from the lowest number to the highest number going downwards in this case because it's print off from the uh from, and, and i'll show you example in fact let's uh, do that so if we want to do like apple uh milk blah and then we do the show command you can see here that it it goes from the first to the last it's pretty important to note that note that we don't have a delete function on this um i didn't really feel like it's needed for this particular demonstration since it's not that functional. Um, it, it, it's purely a demonstrational purpose. So note that. Now going down here, this uh, other function, it gets into adding the actual item into itself, the uh, function right here. So what we do, what, what, what we did is we, um, called for the show help function and that printed off the instructions towards the top there and then what we did is we did a while true now what we could have done is like a while f uh, 5 plus 5 or whatever we just need it to continuously run so while true and true is always true well basically what we have is it's going to and just look at the following. So what we have is the uh, it's looking for the new input always until one of the following commands is met. So what we do what what we have here is uh, if done is selected, then uh, break and that just uh, shuts off the entire program itself. So just note that it, it uh, ends the program. I'll show you that in a second help um it it shows that so if we um do the help then we um we, we get the uh, show help function running again and um, it's worthwhile now uh if, if we go down to show uh as you see here it shows the list so right here it pulls up this function right there now one thing to note here is you might be asking uh, if, if you're fairly new to coding is why am I not put in, in something like um, if I can spell it right help or something like that or show in, in that type of matter or maybe like that well the fact is is it has to be exactly right otherwise it will treat it as the uh, first option which would be the um, the inputs the um if, if it's basically if it's not done help show it will add it to the list um and if it's not spelled the exact same way as shown there which um i'm not a big fan of but i'll show you how to fix it in later videos um then basically it will say okay it's not, the the option is not done the option's not help um, at least spelled exactly like the all capitals and the options not show all capitals so it says okay we're just going to add it to the list so that's just something to note there um when you're making these type of programs again later on I'll try to show you how to uh, fix that a little bit uh to to help you out a bit but anyways as far as that goes um getting about 10 minute mark here um let's go ahead and show you the done command and for this instance it just kills the program as you see there um if i wanted to do something like um kill and um let's save that and uh, da -da -da -da. pull up this so like right here we got the kill in fact what i should have done is uh put on another one so if i 
want to do that, then we get the kill command. If I want to put uh, blah here and um, then we open it back up. I mean, notice that the reflection that we've done here doesn't re reflect up here because um, in, in certain programs and in, in certain certain areas like uh, Android and whatever you can call strings, I'm not getting into that level yet with Python for you guys because um, that's a little bit too deep. But uh, what we could do in, in certain areas is call towards that but as far as this just to keep it simplistic if we go and try that uh, like like if we try help right there it will just add it to the list so if we do show show the help command but if we do the blah it will actually bring up the help command as you see here where once it detects blah is the input it will uh, do the show help function and with the show help function it will go down now one thing before i forget because i know that this is probably going to come up at some point is these have to be above the um the, this stuff so note that because it has a call for it um it, it's not like a person that it can read down and eventually it'll get there keep in mind it's a computer and, and you got a little bit of limitations onto it. But anyways, as far in and other programs, other things you can get around that. So should note that that's not always true depending on what uh, you're doing. But for this instance, that is true. So so if you're playing with this, it's it's true. But anyways, as far as that goes, um if you've got any questions or anything else, then um Feel free to let me know, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Leave a like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think about this video and any improvements that I can do to, to help you out. But if you want me to cover a given topic in the future or language or something else, then let me know, and I'll see what I can do. And um, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day.